Hey yo, it's Dave, bro. What's going on, everybody? We're back for some more Seven Daily Sins Grand Cross content, and today we're gonna be talking about uh, the New Year celebration uh, here on the Grand Cross database. They have translated the the <laughs> basically everything. Uh, I was asleep for the live stream, so I wasn't able to uh, stay up and watch it. But Grand Cross database is here to carry me once again. So shout outs to them. Make sure you follow them on Twitter and you um join the Discord server too. Uh. So, New Year's update, main this time, uh, December 30th, Monday, um, $1,500 to $1,630, okay, it's just an hour and 30 minutes, so that's not that bad, uh, we get a Hawk Pass from the 1st of January, which is this Wednesday, and through January 14th, so, to Tuesday, is that about, yeah, that's two weeks exactly, huh, uh, special week, alright, hold on, hold on, special Hawk Pass sales durations, okay, well, I, I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it, so if you want to buy that, I probably recommend it. Or well, normals is free, and especially it's 980 yen. I think that's 10 bucks, huh? I don't know how much that is. I think it's 10 bucks. 10 bucks, not bucks. Bucks, because I remember the last, I think, two Hawk Passes that came out. I think they were $10 too. So, uh, you get a whole bunch of goodies from that as usual. That's nothing new. Uh, you get one of these um, tickets, I think that's like one of the, yeah, maybe a guaranteed, I know it's an SSR, but I don't know what type of SSR. So let's go to the New Year's login bonus from January 1st to January 3rd. You get 20 gems every day, dog. So this New Year's, make sure y'all log in most definitely because you get 60 stones off rip for three days. Dog, that's crazy. Three days, you get 20 gems every single day. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, um, oh. That's nuts. Uh, New Year's Omikuji event uh, from January 1st, okay, January 7th. So about a week. Event details. When you log in, there will be an Omikuji page popping up, and depending on your luck, you will get different rewards. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you can get gems, probably some other stuff. Hopefully, I can get some SR pandas because I really need them to to get everybody to UR in my box. All right. I mean, I mean Dakuji. Event part two. Oh my goodness, I'm butchering this um, stuff. It's okay. January 1st to uh, January 16th. Uh, players will get this ticket upon clearing the following stages to a max of 20 per day. Okay, whoa. All right. Oh, so it's like the roulette. It's sort of like that roulette thing. That's the only way I could like uh, describe it. You get free stages, main stages, boss stages, SP dungeons. Okay, so just basically play the game. You, <laughs> you can get this stuff. So, uh, what else? Uh, how to play. Uh, one play is 10 tickets. So, it's like that thing that was just there. Oh, okay. We have, yeah, we, yeah, we've done this. Uh, you do this little... You select which, like, path they're going to run. And then they, like, switch based on, like, um... If it's a bridge or whatnot. Warless, hammers, anvils, five-star five, five awakening stones, four-star awakening stones, power-up stones, your chest, SR chest, and two times bonus drops or no drops. I got no drop like twice that last celebration. Uh, New Year's training cave events uh, from 30th of December after maintenance to January 16th. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, that's, that's a while. Uh, so basically, you just like what? Training event? Oh, no, training caves. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm here. I'm, I'm here with you, dog. I'm here. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just drifting off. Okay, after clearing chapter 6 through. 109 what oh okay yeah uh special missions special event conditions we can clear the caves two four six eight times either special missions or special event will occur randomly and completing the missions will earn you bonus rewards if you do not clear this mission the next mission will be triggered okay okay and then special mission speed strength vitality stage clear or training caves clear or level three stage clear okay that seems rapid. that seems rather intuitive or not simple but just like basically you play the training case and you get the, and you get it <laughs> the special event effect only applies to the next training cave stage so not not currently right now so after maintenance uh 2020 spend your gym <laughs> spin your gyms <laughs> event okay uh after maintenance to the 15th of january You'll be able to get rewards for the amount of gems you spent, bro. Imagine, like, what if you saving? Like, Nagato has like um a thousand gems, and he hasn't like spent that. So if he summons for the on the new banners, right? He automatically gets like 
rewards just for like summoning for the new Escanor that's out. Yeah, it's a new Escanor out, by the way. Uh, I checked out on um, Simply Casuals and um, Nagato's, not, not Nagato's, I think it was just Simply Casuals video covering that um, a new um, Escanor is coming. Uh, you'll be able to get rewards for the amount of gems you spend. So if you spend 500, dude, you get a coin shop grab bag ticket. You spend 30, you get an SR SSR ticket. All right, what? All right, if you spend 300, you get an SR SSR ticket. Oh my goodness, dog! Now I wish I would have, dude. All right, I should save my stuff. Now, now I'm regretting. Um, okay, addition of four new characters. Uh, pick up gotcha, limited gotcha. Okay, coming out on the 30th of December after maintenance. SSR Sin of Pride, Holy Knight, SSR New Legend, Demon Meliodas, SSR New Legend, Princess Elizabeth, SSR New Legend, Guardian Jericho. We knew uh, Jericho, Meliodas, and Elizabeth, and uh, Esquinor was coming out, so now it's just a matter of we just need to know what they do, right? So, Esquinor, uh, Skill 1, alright, I'm guessing these are all 3 star. Uh, inflict amplifying, which is increased damage by 30% for each buff this unit this unit has. Oh, so it's like um, what's his name? Gallon off um his um ultimate and does 450% damage to this unit's attack to a single enemy. Skill two, charge and fire. Inflict 250% of this unit's attack to all enemies and reduce ultimate gauge of the target by three. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> All right, can we can we relax? Can we calm down? And it's ult. Let's look at its fate ultimate. Uh, Gentleman's dignity. Inflict 960% of this unit's attack to a single enemy. Oh no! Oh, this yeah, he's gonna hit dumb hard. So I guess it's the same passive uh, fire. <laughs> when, that's that's a simple passive name. Fire. When this unit joins the battle, increase the HP related stats of this unit by 50%. So he's gonna be a tank. It's gonna be a tank and it's gonna be hitting hard dog. <laughs> I can already see the struggles of uh, me fighting uh, this Escanor on PvP tonight. Not not tonight, like after like when he comes out. Melio to skill info rank three. Chain blow inflict 300 360% of this unit's attack to a single enemy. The target will not be able to gain any old gauge for one turn. No, they're starting to do that on a lot of units. No ghetto and I think um uh, the SR Vivian has that. Oh, they're starting to do that a lot. Skill 2, Devil's Fire. Inflict 180% of this unit's attack to all enemies. Infect the target for two turns. Okay, AOE. Nullifies recovery regeneration. That could be pretty handy when you're fighting um, a fairy team with King or uh, the Blue Lilia in PvP. Ult, he applies weakness and he hits really freaking hard with 440%. But Escona has like... 960, 840, yeah, he's gonna hit harder. Uh, what's his ultimate? Yeah, 440 for this unit's attack and does weakness. The more what debuff the character have, the same as um, Escalor's. No, it's just um, oh, he doesn't have weakness, that's amplifying. My bad. Weakness if they're debuffed, he hits harder. Basically, passive declaration of death. <laughs> well, I love these passive games, dude. During your turn, if an enemy character dies, increase Meliodas' alt gauge by the number of alt gauges the enemy had. <laughs> what? That's interesting. So if you kill somebody who has a full alt gauge, he gets a, a, a full alt gauge next turn. That's insane. That's crazy. That's different. Alright, let's go to Elizabeth skill. Her, the new Elizabeth. Royal Dignity inflict 250% of this unit attack. To all enemies restores HP to the ally with the lowest HP by 60% of this of the damage dealt. That's pretty. Oh, what? That's cool. He's like an attacker and a healer. If he attacks, that's nuts. Skill two: Blessing Light. Cleanse all debuffs on all enemies. Grant immunity to debuffs for all allies and increase their defense-related stats for three turns. Interesting. He heals and attacks on the first skill, and then she just like all around support for the second skill. That's pretty. I don't know. That's pretty. She's pretty unique. And her ultimate, Life Authority, heals all allies. HP for 420% based on this unit's attack. Increase all allies' ult gauge by two. That's pretty good, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
and a passive ascending light every time an ally gets healed by Elizabeth. Increase the recovery rate for all allies by 10%. Goes up to 100. Oh my god, dog. This, this Elizabeth is something else. I'm not even gonna lie. I like her probably the most out of all these guys. Escanor is pretty dope because he just becomes a tank and he just like hits everybody dumb hard. But. I'm liking this Elizabeth. To be honest, that's, I mean, I haven't read Jericho yet, but let's read into it. Swift Dash. Blakes 300% of this unit attack to a single enemy. Explode? What? Deals 100% of damage dealt after X turns. Okay, or uh, X turns, X turns. A certain amount, so more turns, she hits harder. Okay. Uh, tornado Slash, or Victor Tornado Slash, inflict 300% of this unit's attack to a single enemy. Increase the target's HP related stats by 30% for two turns. I mean, okay. Oh, so if you're like fighting somebody who has like life steal, like maybe like a Bond or um, Demon Hendrickson, I, I can see that becoming useful. Her ult cut, what's cut? Crit rate times two. Uh, silent split, a single attack with 560% of this unit's attack. And uh, he has a double the chance to crit rate us. Insane. Uh, not insane. It's like really good. She's going to be a good hard hitter. Uh, sharp sense. Whenever any allies crit the enemy when using skills, increase the crit rate of all allies by 5%. But goes up to 50%. What? What? <laughs> she said every time they crit. Dog, imagine if you had. All right. For instance, right? Let's say you have a house like mine, right? And he, he, you know he crits like rather a lot. And he hits like multiple times. So imagine if you do a three star. And he, I don't know how many hits he does on his regular like um, first skill or whatever. But he got, he has to hit like, I think probably like six times. That's minimum, dog. And if it's like three enemies, six times three, that's eight. Dog, you already got her full pass if you, if you run this man with um, Hauser. She is pretty. That's, that passive is pretty nuts. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Did I just zoom in? Okay, yeah. That's pretty nuts. I like that. Uh, attainable locations. SSR. Okay, yeah, of course. You gotta go in the guy show or the coin shop. Oh, he's a coin shop unit. Whoa. What? Okay. Uh, and then uh, Demon Meliodas, of course, you gotta get off the gotcha. Elizabeth, same. And Jericho, same. But yeah, Escanor is about to be lit. He, he's the new coin shop unit. That's 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 pretty cool. Banner info goes up after maintenance today, and New Year limited character guaranteed gotcha. Uh, wait, you got guaranteed gotcha? Oh, okay, all right. So you just basically guaranteed to get one of the New Year's unit and coin gotcha grab. Uh, what's it saying? Location spend your gems event 500 gems reward hawk pass normal level 25 new year special pack 10 commandments grab bag gotcha uh, At the maintenance price one take command commandments grab bag ticket. Okay, so you can Get like probably a ticket and get and grab one of the 10 commandments 10 commandments grab bag ticket locations hawk pass uh, special level 35 reward New Year special pack silver, new costumes added. Uh, you see Jericho, Elizabeth, and New Meliodas fresh chop haircut. Ooh, I see dog looking like um Yoshikage from JoJo. Uh, Kira Yoshikage. Uh, individual pieces, gem cells. Okay, prices. No price. Thirty gems each. Affordable, purchasable parts. Meliodas weapon and head. Elizabeth head. Jericho weapon and head. The body costumes will come from. You are in the character, okay. Flippable characters. Uh, Demon Meliodas, yeah, we all know the same colors. I mean, if they have the same name, I'm pretty sure you can just wear this, those costumes. Escanor Merlin costumes added. Oh, Escanor looking like a Stone Cold, like, oh my goodness, he looking fresh. Look like they about to get married. Uh, set cash sale, period. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how much that is exactly in yen. Individual price gem sales uh, from 13th of January to the 26th. Quotable characters, that's going on Merlin. 2020 New Year's pack added, so uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, you get a guaranteed um, new New Year's um, SSR for like what? 
I think 30 bucks. I saw that on Twitter. I think Nagato said it was about 30 bucks. Uh, New Year's special pack purchasable only once. You can't abuse this if you're a well. <laughs> it says they stop it right there. Uh, gold pack. Uh, you got a what coin shop grab bag ticket. This is our pennant 12. <laughs> 12. This is our pennants. Horns, wings, and ears. 50. That's not too bad. Uh, six star XP potions. I wish it was chalices, but oh well. Uh, 10 commandment grab bag ticket times one. All right, so this is gold, silver, and bronze. So I guess it just gets work. It gets worse as it goes down. Yeah, so you get one SSR gear selection ticket for bronze, and you get like 12 SSR pendants and go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, New <laughs> New Year's limited character gotcha pack purchasable purchasable only once. Oh my goodness, I cannot read. Purchasable only once. Price 30 yen, not 30 yen, 30 bucks, but 200. And 2,940 yen. Uh, pack details. New Year's limited characters, of course. Uh, New Year character growth events. Ooh, there will be three character, three character growth events. What? So is that like the tab where you like go and fight, fight um, a certain character and get like three SSR pendants or something like that? Visal hammers, 100% success rate. I saw this in the Discord and I almost did a backflip, dude. Dude, imagine having these hammers and just like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to go upgrade my best unit and and not fail at all. Like, it happened to me like a good amount of times. Okay, 100% success rate, yep. Dissembling gear, great success and super great success rate up. All right, let's go. I got a whole bunch of SSR on gear I need to break down. Uh, What's next? Character XP, great success. Eh, yeah, that's cool. So if you train them, you get like a 150 or 200% um, not guaranteed, but the rate is up. Bonus character, searching for the skyfish. Oh, finally, some free stuff. <laughs> free to play friendly stuff, dude. All right, new bonus story update of the movie Prisoners of the Sky Edition. The new fate skills for Escanor, SSR, red and green. Oh, for Merlin, finally, Jesus. I mean, I have the green um, Escanor, but I haven't been using them too much, but finally he has a fate partner. Uh, addition for characters in general pool. Okay. Uh, what's that? Diane. Holy Knight. That must be the blue one, huh? General Gotcha SSR. SSR through this. Okay, so she's added to like those ticket banner. Uh, SSR L. Oh, Adventure of Bonds coming to... Oh, let's go, bro. <laughs> I'm about to finally... Pull them maybe off a guaranteed SSR ticket. Uh, SSR Wings of the Sky, Celestial Elect. General Gotcha, yep, she's been added just like Bond and, um, oh, not Elizabeth, um, Diane up here. Uh, character Balancing. Who is this? Uh, for Jericho? Oh, it looks like she got some increase based off her HP attack. All, all of her stats. Jericho? Wait. The red Jericho 2, yeah, blue Jericho, Godspeed, Jericho Green. Oh, that's the free to play one. All rarity. Yeah. And Leonis, Princess Elizabeth. He gets an increase too. It's pretty good. Uh who was that? Blue Elizabeth gets 20 extra regeneration. Oh, okay. Well, so that is pretty much it, you guys. Let me know what you are most excited for for this new. Uh, for this New Year's celebration, not, yeah, celebration basically. Uh, let me know if you are gonna be purchasing anything specifically, more like the um, Hawk Pass or you know, like the the stuff that gets the guaranteed SSR ticket. Well, not the guaranteed SSR, the, the the pack that gives you the guaranteed New Year's SSR. Or and let me know if you're gonna pick up Escanor for sure, because I know a lot of Escanor fanboys out there. Uh, I probably I don't have enough. Um, SSR coins to do so but let me know if you are and if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like and if you are new definitely definitely subscribe to your boy help your boy out on that road to 50 subscribers and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video alright peace